I am going to be playing CSGO on the world's fastest monitor, the Asus ROG 360Hz monitor. Hello guys, it's Boy Noble from uh, Sweden, and yes, I do indeed have the 360Hz monitor in my hands, and I am using it right now. This video is sponsored by NVIDIA, because they sent me this awesome monitor, but they also sent me an RTX 3080 graphic graphics card, which I'm also using, and in this video I wanted to really see the difference in different refresh rates of monitors, basically what it's like playing with a 60Hz monitor, a 144Hz monitor, and a 360Hz monitor. So first of all, I wanted to measure how big my latency was to my screen, so I used the NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer, but as you can see, at 360Hz, I have around, let's say, 20, maybe 20, average latency. Now, sadly, NVIDIA also has another program called NVIDIA Reflex, but that doesn't work for CSGO. It's basically like an on-off option which reduces the latency even more. It works for a lot of games like Valorant and I think Call of Duty, but as I said, sadly, not for CS. Now, since the max frame rate you can have on a YouTube video is 60 FPS, I can't really accurately display 360 FPS or 144 FPS. So anyways, it was time to open the RTX 3080, which is apparently cooler, quieter, and up to two times faster than the previous RTX 2080 for the same price. Yo! That's crazy. And since I got the Founders Edition, it has a new flow-through thermal design that is up to three times quieter, which I like because when I'm recording, I hate having background noise. Whee. Now, as I said, the max FPS on a YouTube video is 60, so it's hard for me to show how this actually looks like. But Nvidia actually had some very nice examples from Valorant, and it's basically the same as CS, because you need to have very quick reflexes, competitive shooter, and FPS, matters a lot. You can see in these examples, 60 hertz when it's slowed down, it's really laggy. It looks like it's laggy and you know if you play with 60 hertz, it feels kind of laggy. 144 hertz, which was my go-to before this screen, it looks decent but you can see that it's still kind of choppy. And 360 hertz, even though it's this slowed down, still looks like butter. It looks like real life. The only example they had from CS was 60, 144 and 240. 40, and even it being 240, you can still see a huge difference. And remember, this is 240. The screen that I have is 360. So that's another 120 hertz being added to the monitor. So here comes the most important question. Is it worth upgrading to a 360 hertz monitor? In my experience, I would say if you have the funds to be able to upgrade, then you should do it because there is actually a significant difference. If you have a 240 hertz monitor, uh, maybe you wouldn't need to upgrade. If you have a 144 hertz monitor, I think it could be worth it. And if you have a 60 hertz monitor and you can afford a 360 hertz monitor, then yes, you should do it. Because playing games, especially CS, on a 60 hertz monitor, that uh, that should be illegal. And personally, uh, I've had this monitor now for a week or two, and I've been playing with it a lot, and there is actually a huge difference. And it sounds weird, but when playing with this screen, I'm actually having more fun with CS because it feels like I can perform better in the game. And in the background, you can see some gameplay that I just recorded of me in a deathmatch. And I'm actually doing pretty well. It feels much easier to one tap. It feels much easier and smoother to aim. And weirdly enough, it feels like your bullets are landing when back on a 60 or 144 hertz monitor, they wouldn't land. And that also has to do a lot with the latency difference and the fact that you can see enemies quicker on this sort of a monitor and if you have lower screen latency and faster refresh rate so for me it's a really insane monitor so thank you guys for watching and thank you nvidia for sponsoring and giving me this very nice graphics card and this monitor and i'll see you guys in the next video when i'm going to easily rank up without even trying because i have a 360 hertz monitor and i'm just going to stomp on kids in matchmaking very nice